What's good with y'all, man? So, guys, y'all already know what time it is. Y'all should already know what time it is. It's time for some tough love, right? So, I, I got to be real with y'all, man. You know, I really do love what I do, right? I love helping guys out. I like to put, tell y'all something. The biggest picture, I like to put us in a better spot. All right, I'm, I'm an advocate, man, red pill pharmacist. I, I'm trying to put us in a better spot, guys. I want you guys to be in a better spot at, you know, at all times. Because if you ask me personally, right, I think that men are more capable. You know, actual men are more capable of uh, not abusing power. Because, you know, I, it's been happening too many times where, guys, you were relinquishing power to, to your girls or, or the women around you. And they're they're straight up disrespecting you. They're treating you like garbage, right? So you know this video is going to help out a lot of y'all. Uh, for some of y'all, hey, it's going to be a little tough love. For some of y'all, it's going to be a reminder. And you know that's all we do, man. We continue to learn. We continue to move. We continue to get better. As long as you stay in focused, you're going to be good. Because I got too many guys that come up and you know they'll DM me on IG. By the way, follow me on IG. Check the links in description, guys. Useful content there. Um, Got a free ebook going on right now, so that'll go in line with this video. And uh, turn on the notifications, man. Subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button. So let's let's get this out here, right? Um, and it's funny though that I get guys that'll be like, bro, you know, oh, same type of the content. I was always focused on myself, and I fell off, and you know, things started to changing, and I started to go back into my beta ways or my beta habits, and. You know, I started to get weak with women and, and then this happened and then this happened, this girl, this girl. And you end up, you know, losing the leverage that you once had. Right. So this is why reminders are important, guys. Three things you never tell a woman. First, three things you should never come out the gate with, um, because these are things that are going to eventually come up. Right. In any relation, what you're dealing with women. Guys, when you are going through your process, it is so easy. Like, I'm going to tell you something. You right now, if you can think back to when you were not focused versus you that's on point, it's a lot easier for these women to fall in love with you when you're on point. Women have no choice but to try to lock you down. That's going to be their mission. They're going to try to tame you because you guys, you a beast. Guys, you turn into a beast. Right. This, that's what it is. As men, you turn into a beast and in so many different ways, they can't even handle it. So congratulations to you guys that are on point like that. You know that when you're on point versus before you when you were um, I'm kind of playing around with what I'm passionate about. I'm not really you know, I don't really care to be successful. You now that you on point. Oh, man, it's totally different. So these are three things. Right. That you never tell a woman first that that's going to come up. It's most of the younger guys, of course, but even some guys now that still, you know, they're not aware or, or they, they lose the touch with the times that we're in. Y'all will come out here and tell a girl that you like her first. Guys, you never, ever, ever, ever in the perfect world, because we're going to have these people come in here. Well, if, if you tell her you like her, she should be able to do the same thing and blah, blah. It does not work like that. Y'all are are thinking that it's it's a possibility for there to be 50 50 equal playing field nobody's going to try to use any leverage no manipulation when that is the game of women i am here to help this is why i say this I provide examples too so so watch the whole thing guys when you come out and you say i like you that's literally like you just you know you're playing one on one and you gave the ball to her, right? She has no take backs. You know what I'm saying? She can foul you. She can get away with whatever she wants, and she's going to get the ball back anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not even getting a chance to attempt a bucket, a basket. You're not even giving a chance. You're, you're giving it up. You're giving your power away. So, and, and this is the thing, guys. It, it's not... Guys, you cannot approach this like you're thinking how you would think. Oh, if somebody told me I like them, oh, man, that'd be awesome. And I like them, too. That'd be great. Even if she likes you, even if things are cordial right there, eventually, because you were the first one to do that, 
She's going to require, she's going to expect more of you. You're going to be caught in that weaker position where you're always going to have to prove that. You're always going to have to prove your love to her and all this. Stuff. And I just said, like, when we move into love and all that stuff, guys, when you're dealing with a chick, right, you hooking up with her and stuff. And things might start to get serious because that's what's going to eventually happen. Guys, we have to we have to expect things. As men, we have to make sure that we are thinking more long term. So let's say you're hooking up with this chick. Things are cool. Things are great. It's only a matter of time, fellas, until uh, things move to the next level. And you never want to be in a position where you tell a girl you love her first. Whether you it's a, you like her first or you love her first, you never want to be in a position where you say that first. You are going to be put in a weaker position. You don't want to always be constantly fighting to prove your love to someone, right? And you're not in that position when what happens? When she tells you that first. Guys, just sit back and chill. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. You can just sit back and chill. Let them have the feelings, right? You can feel that way, and that's cool. But you cannot sit here and be like, oh, man, oh, baby, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Or going up to a girl, I like you. Will you be, uh, do you like me too? Like, like you got, you, it's a totally different game. It's not middle school where you wrote it on a piece of paper and you had a box. Do you like me? Check yes, if yes. Check no, if no. It's like, bruh, obviously that's not what we're dealing with here. We're not kids. You know what I'm saying? These girls are out here and they really on this, they on this wave of just, I want to be able, like, like check my IG story, if it, my IG story. Well, you know, this girl made a made a uh, statement and it's covers so many things. This is the type of energy that's out here with these women. Most of them. Most of them. We're not talking about exceptions. This girl said, I fucked all the guys I want to. Now I'm ready to get married. That's their energy. Straight up. Straight up and down. That's their energy. Like, they, they want their cake and eat it too. Guys, the only way you can have respect, the only way you can maintain your power in a relationship because I want men to take their power back. Guys, you have to let them come to you first with all that stuff. You play it cool. Bro, if you get them what you want anyway, then why are you even trying to do that? You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be trying to do that. Um, That's the love and the light part. Guys, you never, ever, this is the second thing, you never, ever tell a girl that you want her to be your girlfriend. First, you never come out the gate with a relationship. Guys, that's your power. That's your that's literally your power, your leverage. They have to be fighting to earn that. And this is the, the, the reason why you don't tell a girl you like her, you love her first is because you want to let her continue to think that, oh, you know, I still I'm still uh, trying out. You know, these are still tryouts. You know, he has other options. You know, a, another girl might take my spot. You want her continuously trying to fight for that. Because the relationship, which is point two. That is literally what she's fighting for. She's trying to lock you down. She wants you to be exclusive. Guys, how much better, think about this. How much better is it when a girl is chasing you than a guy chasing a girl? And I don't want to hear that, oh, well, men are supposed to date. That's not what it's about. I mean locking down this relation between y'all two. Have y'all ever been in that situation? I would tell you something. All the girlfriends that I've ever had, they've always asked me you know they've always told me i th i think i love you like that was the first time where I, i'm in love with you and i just don't know how to feel and blah blah be pillow talking after that and just drop that long hammer johnson off and oh my God, i just i i think i'm in love with you and you know i they then that then they start trying to lock it down right then like, well are you messing with other girls still or you know i don't want to just you know be the girl on this i want to be the I, blah, blah, blah. that's when they bring that stuff up and then it's the power's in your hands do you decide to wife her up or do you continue to tell her nah you know i'm just trying to you know do, you do my own thing i'm just you know i'm enjoying what we have now and blah 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 that's when you choose you don't want to be in a position where you got guys. I, I, I don't get it with some of y'all, man. Don't y'all want to be in that position because it's not going to be an equal. Y'all y'all think it's going to be an equal playing field. Both of y'all want the relationship. Both of y'all. It doesn't matter. Somebody's going to be winning at the top, the leader position and somebody. And, and guys, when you're a respectable man and you know, you know what I'm saying? You, you can lead your woman the right way. You're not going to abuse your power. That's what I mean. And ladies, the right man is not going to abuse his power and just freaking try to take a dump on your whole life.
unless you you do something wrong you, you if you if you stay in line with his program you follow his program you follow his leadership and you don't be all you know extra with it don't try to pull back on the most of the time y'all pull back on the box that's when the stuff happens don't do that do not do that with it with a, a especially high value man but but a guy that you really want to stay with don't do that don't do that i had a girl tell me that this is a side note i had a girl tell me that one time well if i uh well we're not having sex tonight if blah blah i said what i looked at her i was like i didn't even really say that i was just like that that would not be smart of you to do and she had no words she was just like mm, yeah exactly and guess what? I'm still getting cheeks anytime I want it. You better make sure that man is taking care of. She's going to do that for you, bro. When she's fighting for it, when she's fighting for the relationship, she going to be trying to make sure you get your rocks off as much as you can so you don't leave. And that's how a woman can keep her man from cheating. That's the secret that all these women don't want to admit. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I digress. But yeah, man, you never push for the relationship. You want her fighting for that. Guys, you never tell a woman that first. When you keep these dynamics here, bro, you good. I'm telling you guys. You, you'll keep the relationship. Uh, uh, it, it, the relationship will be better. The relations. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying, like, when she's fighting for you, she's telling you, oh, I like you first. She's telling you, I love you first. She wants to relate. She wants to try to lock you down so you can commit to, uh, 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 just one girl. You're in way better. You're in a way better position, bro. King, you're in a way better position, bro. Than being like these other fairy tale freaking stories in the, in the Disney movies. Oh, we, we both ran into each other and we loved each other so much. And then it just it ended happily ever after. It don't work like that, bro. It don't work like that. Not with sprinkles on top, bro. It, it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't black and white like that. Y'all think it's, it's a major gray area. And what I'm telling you guys is I'd rather you have, you know, I'd rather you be on top. I'd rather you have the, the power to leverage over her because she going to abuse it. Guys, nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, a woman is going to abuse that power. I'm telling you, she's going to abuse it. She's going to have you feeling like you have to earn some coochie she gonna make you feel like you have to earn uh good behavior from her earn the fact that she's a woman like like you had to fight for her to be your girl like what do you see who like like she should respect you as a man enough to understand what you bring the value that you are and if you are you know sitting here telling her this stuff first then, then you're done i'm gonna be real with you guys you're done bro you're, you're in a you're in a weaker position and i hate to see you guys lose i really do i'm the advocate for y'all you know what i'm saying i put myself out here and and, and i do it bro i do it i know what the, i know what the deal is I'm telling you i've been the one to break up with my girlfriends because i chose to and this is the next thing when you're talking to these girls the last the third thing guys this is the last thing is very important because what, what a lot of these girls going to ask you as you're dealing with them is, oh, well, what's your longest relationship? And, you know, how did that end? And I don't, you don't get into, you don't divulge that stuff too much. You can tell, you can tell her, guys, here's, here, I'm going to give you all the strategy right here. The good thing to tell her is if it's, it's been a long-term relationship, right? Because that's going to make her, and guys, this, this works whether you want to be in a relationship with the girl, whether you want to keep her in it, this is just so you have the power to control where you want to be at. doesn't matter. You want to stay in a relationship with her or you want to get in a relationship or you just want to keep her around and keep smashing. She's going to be fighting for you regardless. So you choose what you want to do. But if she asks you that, just be like, you know, you can, you can, uh, she's going to appreciate if you've been in a long-term relationship, maybe at least a couple of years, because then she'll be like, oh, well, he can hold a relationship well. You know, he da 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 da. That's just in their mind. You can say that, but here's the thing. You never tell her how it ended. You never really, you never go into that. You let her say that stuff first. Whatever she's comfortable with saying first, you kind of play that up. You know, you, you kind of relay that. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever appropriate level she gives off of how a relationship ended, like, okay, it wasn't too dramatic, but we know it was really more than just what she's saying because a most... All women gonna play victim. We all know that. But whatever she gives, you kind of be like, okay, okay. Well, then you tell her something like, okay, it was, you know, this is why the relationship ended. 
And me, I, I ended up having to hold back because it's like, man, I can't really tell you how it is. I can't tell you that I got bored. I can't tell you that she was like wasting my time kind of and I wanted to make money. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make my dreams come true and she was just a piece of box that was around and I was just like, all right, well, this is boring and bye. Or, or you know, she really, you know, was, was wasting my time and she was holding me back. Like, I can't really say stuff like that because a lot of women don't understand that, you know, at, at a certain point, a lot of them don't really bring nothing besides some box. So if I told you that, hey, you know what I'm saying? The last couple girls I was with, the box was just getting old. She, she going to be like, well, my box is going to get old, too. So why would he stay with me? So don't divulge, you know, keep it within a certain frame. I don't tell girls that part. You know what I'm saying? I don't tell them that stuff. You know, some of them might be see it as a challenge. Well, you ain't going to get tired of this box. All right, we're going to see it. Let's see. But uh, guys, yeah, man, just stay on point. Keep your power, guys. Keep your leverage. Just stay in that position because I feel like men, like I said, Real men are not going to abuse that. You know, you're not going to abuse it. You're just going to... I just want you guys to play to win. I want you guys to win. As long as she knows what the deal is, she's fighting for you, then there, there's nothing else to be said. You know what I'm saying? So continue to win, fellas. Mm -hmm.